What's going on guys? My name is Dynasty. What I got for y'all today and again is another Injustice 2 video. Now first things first, indeed, Dr. Fate looks amazing. I love this character reveal. I actually did a reaction video. If you missed that, of course, a link down below. Overall, pretty solid looking character. Love the gameplay trailer, like mid-range, has some cool projectiles. I love his grab and his outro is pretty beast, but yes, Dr. Fate finally confirmed to be inside of the Injustice 2 roster. Now, not only did we get this brand new reveal trailer for, of course, Dr. Fate, we also got a bunch of brand new information for the Injustice 2 gear system, courtesy of PlayStation Access over on the UK on their YouTube channel. Now, believe it or not, guys, they gave out a ton, and I mean a ton of brand new information regarding the gear system inside of Injustice 2 over on their YouTube channel. They did this interview with Derek Kurtzik. Of course, he is like, you know, he works in the Room Studios. He's always inside the Watchtower live streams, the combat cast back in Mortal Kombat X. And like I said, it is a ton of new information about the gear system inside of Injustice 2. So we're going to break down everything that was actually worth noting. A lot of stuff, guys. So please drop a like on the video. It takes one second, and it really does help me out a ton. This video gets over 500 likes. I'll, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I'll, I'll give you a lifelong supply of burritos or tacos or pancakes. Any of the three. You can have it. But guys, thank you all so much for the recent love and support. You're amazing. And with that out of the way... Let's talk about everything inside this interview with Derek Kurtzik. So first things first, shaders. Yes, you guys do know that we have shaders inside of Injustice 2 to change like the color scheme of your characters. And from what I gathered, there's going to be, no matter what, over 25 different shaders per character. Here's actually a gameplay clip they use showing off some Harley Quinn shaders to give you an idea of some of the things you can actually get for these characters. For instance, like I said, you got black and red, you got purple and black, you got green and yellow, you got pink and blue. So I'm going to assume every character has like their own unique shaders, but there are over 25 you know give or take per character so yes customization really is gonna be a pretty big deal instead of injustice too now speaking of customization they all said this so say you're playing a player match online you get your ass kicked by this guy who has this like crazy set right of just like amazing gear you love his gear you love his color scheme and you're like sitting back saying man i want that gear Believe it or not, you can actually go inside your player card, see your match history, and see the gear that his character was using. So you can actually copy gear from opponents you face online. So if you see something you like, just go back to your player card history, see the gear your opponent was wearing, and you can pretty much, like, step-by-step step copy what they had and use that to your advantage. And, yeah, so you can copy gear, which is actually a pretty cool idea that they actually pulled off. So, yes, you can copy opponent's gear. Now, moving on to something else as well. Now, I understand a lot of you guys have these concerns about, like, oh, uh, you know, the gear system has all these different attributes, these different stats. So, like, can somebody who has, like, a level 20 Superman get paired up with my level 1 Batman? Chances are no. They actually came out and said it's going to be kind of, like, skill-based matchmaking to an extent where it's like you won't get paired up with people that are like super high levels if you're a super low level if you're a super high level you're gonna play against guys who are also as experienced you have like similar stats on the gear as well so it's gonna be pretty equally matched in terms of like people you fight up against which is really cool because the game's not gonna be like super out of hand if you've only been playing for a week going against a guy who's played for a year no need to worry they're gonna try their best to match you with people who are on your same skill level based on like the character card level and of course your player card level so yes that is going to be how the matchmaking works in terms of like player matches. Now moving on to something else as well, they also mentioned there's going to be gear sets that change your entire character. It can even give you like character bonuses. So they actually have this gameplay right here. Bam! You can see their like entire full sets of gear for each certain characters. Now apparently, like I mentioned, if you get like the entire gear set unlocked, there's going to be a bonus to that character. Now they didn't go in depth and say what that bonus will be, but I'm going to assume it's going to be like an ability maybe, or something along those lines, but yes, indeed, if you actually work your ass off and complete a set, there's going to be some type of bonus to get, you know, given to you and your character, so yeah, boom, sets have bonuses. Also, uh, you guys know how like in Mortal Kombat X, we had like holiday themed towers that gave you like certain holiday, uh, you know, player cards, emblems, and stuff like that, well, you know, Derek Kurtz came out and said like, yes, they're going to have like holiday themed events for single player. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be, like, ladders and stuff like that dedicated to, like, oh, Halloween, Valentine's Day, Christmas, etc. That probably give you uh, maybe some gear you can use. Hopefully online. He did say single player. He didn't mention that you could use that online. But that's all we know so far is they're going to be holiday themed events for single player now moving on to something else as well Derek Kurtzik also came out and said there's going to be crossovers inside of the gear system so like don't be surprised if you see like a certain costume or piece of a costume from like an old comic book from like the 60s the 70s part of the lore because uh yeah they're gonna be using a lot of like callbacks to the comic book so if you see like a Batman Beyond logo for Batman that might be a theme. We already see like the Red Sun logo on Superman's chest, you know what I mean? So there's going to be a ton of crossovers. So not only are you going to see hopefully like CW skins for these characters and you know, obviously movie skins, 
but inside the gear system there's going to be a lot of like their classic attire pieces that you can actually hopefully unlock and then from there create a set so yeah crossovers are a thing inside the gear system now moving on to something very interesting now confirmed loot chest there's going to be loot chest inside of injustice 2 there's going to be bronze silver gold platinum and diamond so you got five different tiers of these loot chests now i know what you're thinking dynasty is this where microtransactions come into play and it's confirmed thankfully thank you another room you cannot use microtransactions for gear so you can't you know drop a hundred dollars in real life currency and buy these loot chests to get gear you can only get these loot chests by playing the actual game so that's an equal playing field and that is like the biggest relief ever you guys know i was so concerned about the gear system and microtransactions another video just came out today and pretty much said like yeah uh you can't you know play to win pretty much and that is like the greatest feeling ever so how do you get these loot chests obviously it's by playing the game so for instance if you do like a certain combo that'll give you like a certain amount of coins if you pull off a super move that'll also give you like a certain amount of coins he also mentioned that there's gonna be like several different tasks you can perform inside of injustice 2 to get like these coins that buy you loot chests. Now, I didn't go in depth and say like there's going to be like challenges or anything like that, but I'm gonna assume there's gonna be like challenges that you can complete them from there. Say you do like 50 super moves, you get like a ton of currency, then from there, you can buy yourself a loot chest. Now, what's really cool as well is say you get a bunch of gear for characters that you don't use whatsoever, you can actually sell that gear for coins, and then like I said, use those coins to buy chests. Also, there is going to be like a gambling mechanic, I think, to where it's like, say you get like this epic piece for a character you don't use, but you know it's valuable, you just don't want to sell it. You can roll that piece of gear to get another piece of gear and kind of like gamble and take your chances to see what you get. So, yeah. That is a ton of brand new information about Injustice 2 that's literally just like hot off the wire courtesy of PlayStation Access. There's going to be a link down below to the entire video. Go watch it. They go a ton more in depth about everything regarding the gear system for Injustice 2. But guys, that is all I got for y'all today. Broke down pretty much everything I think is worth noting inside my little notepad here. Hopefully you guys did learn some new information. Like I mentioned, go watch the video down below. It's a great interview. And that's pretty much it, guys. But if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. It takes one second, of course. Subscribe for more Injustice 2 content. Until next time, I'm your host, Medina. Stay care. Stay safe. Dr. Fate looks amazing. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.